In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure Windows Event Log Forwarding. Here in Windows 7, I'm going to configure it such that a Windows server can reach out periodically and grab specific log events from this host and have it stored on itself. That way we can have centralized logging. The first thing I'll do here in Windows 7 is I'm just going to go ahead and go to the command prompt where I'm going to type winrm space qc for quick config. The WinRM underlying service, which uses an HTTP transport, is actually what's used to deliver these log messages over the network. So here it's telling me it's going to create a WinRM listener, and it's going to make sure that the service is running and that there's a firewall exception. So I'll press Y to accept that those changes will be made. And it's been done. Now, of course, you could use group policy in an Active Directory environment to enable WinRM on multiple machines, but this is how you do it on a single machine. The other thing we have to bear in mind, and again, you might configure this centrally through other tools like group policy, is that the server that's going to reach out over the network into this machine, or any machine to grab log information, needs to have certain privileges. So I'm going to go ahead on this machine and right click on computer in the start menu, it's running Windows 7, and I'm going to choose manage, where on the left I'm going to go under local users and groups and click groups. There's an event log readers group, so I'm going to double click on that to open it up, and I want to click add because I want to add my server as a member. So what I'm going to do then is click the object types and I'll deselect service accounts, groups, and users because I know I only want to look at computers. So I'll turn a check mark on for that. I'll click OK. The location is my domain name here, quick24x7.com. That's an active directory domain. So I'll click the advanced button, then I'll click find now to list computers in the domain. The server that will be configured as a centralized logging collector host is my domain controller DC001. So I'm going to select that from the list. I'll click OK and OK. So that takes care of what needs to be done here, if you will, on the client side. Let's switch over to the server and see what needs to be done there. On my Windows server, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Start menu. And what I want to do here is start by opening up the Event Log Viewer tool. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Event Viewer. Once that pops up, the idea here is that I want to make sure I have a configuration, which is called a subscription, that will require this server to periodically go out and get information from specified hosts, specific log information, and bring it back here. So I'm going to go ahead and expand or maximize the event viewer window. And if I were to expand, for example, Windows Logs, we see that there's a default forwarded events view, which is designed to hold items forwarded from other machines. We could change that, but that's what I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to go ahead and click Subscriptions over here on the left. It tells me on my server that if I want to work with these subscriptions for log forwarding, the Windows Event Collector service must be running. So I'm going to click Yes to make that happen. Then I'll right click on subscriptions in the left hand panel and I'll choose create subscription. Here I'm going to call it collect problems because essentially I'm going to be collecting only critical errors, that type of thing from machines. The destination log here is set to forwarded events, which we can see over here on the left. Collector initiated is what I want. This server is the collector. It will initiate a connection out to machines that I specify which I do here by clicking the Select Computers button. So I'm going to click Add Domain Computers, and I'm going to go ahead and click Advanced, Find Now, and I'm going to choose our Windows 7 Domain Joined Computer, and I'll click OK. Now notice that you can select a computer added here and click the Test button on the right to make sure it can be reached properly over WinRM. So the connectivity then is in place. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, but we haven't yet told it what type of log entries that we're interested in. So down below, I'm going to click the Select Events button. And here I'm going to tell it I only want critical, warning, and error items from, and here I could choose, of course, the specific Windows logs. Maybe I'll choose the system log for those hosts, or that host. In this case, it's only one. You can also select multiple logs from this list. So here we're looking for critical warning and errors from the application security and system logs. 
Now, after a few minutes, if you go ahead and look at forwarded events, then you're going to start to see some of these items where really, if you select one of these items in forwarded events, you're going to see where it came from. You'll see the computer listed here. And you'll also see the log. Here we've got, for example, the system log. And as we scroll down, we'll see other items that might have come from different logs, such as the application log and so on. So maybe way down here, we can start seeing that, yes, indeed, we are getting these events forwarded from our Windows 7 station to this server from different logs. In this video, we learned how to configure Windows event log forwarding.